Hey dudes, pop quiz. What are the ingredients to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Well, you gotta have bread. You gotta have peanut butter. And the last one, yep, you got it. You gotta have that jelly. PB and J, pretty easy to make. A little bit harder to make is a classroom. So what ingredients do we need to make an excellent classroom? One of our ingredients is teamwork. Let's check these dudes out. I got three little friends here and they were told to make the tallest tower that they could. Now, if they're all working on their own, can they build the tallest tower? Well, they can build a pretty big tower, but I don't know if it's the tallest, but watch this. If they team up, if they use teamwork, they can do amazing things. And if you want to work in an amazing class, you're going to use teamwork to do amazing things with your classmates and your teacher. Teamwork is one important ingredient. Here's another important ingredient to understand. It's called equity. Let me explain equity here. I got Marissa and I got Josh. Now Marissa and Josh, they're in the same class, but look at this. Josh gets to wear glasses. Now, why do you think Josh wears those glasses? Oh, I see. So you're saying because he needs them to see. He can't see good without his glasses. Okay, so Josh needs his glasses. Does Marissa have glasses? Mm -mm. Does she need them? Uh -uh. Are these two equal? Do they have the same amount of stuff? Not equal because Josh has glasses and Marissa doesn't have any. But is that fair? It is fair because Marissa doesn't really need those glasses, even though Josh does. And fair is what equity is all about. Equity is when things are fair for everyone. So just like Josh gets to wear his glasses, sometimes equity might look different in a classroom. Maybe one student gets to sit down with the teacher all the time because they're having a hard time learning, you know, the count to 10. And the other student, maybe he's got it quickly split and he doesn't need that extra help. Is it fair? Yeah, because it's we want everyone to have the same equal chance of doing their very, very best. And sometimes that means you get extra attention or you get to wear glasses, even when they look really cool like those. But I got one more ingredient for you. And it goes R-E-S-P-E-C-T. And that is respect. Now, I want you to think for a second. All right, pretend you were logged in. All your friends were on the Zoom too. And it was your turn to share a story. Your turn to answer a question. Which one of these kids do you think is doing the best job of showing respect to you? The kid who's playing with a little toy. The kid who's looking at you and smiling. The kid who's watching television. Or the kid that fell asleep. Which one is showing great respect? Uh-uh. Nope. Not the best. Respect. Respect is showing other people you value them. So, check this out. If you mix teamwork with a little bit of respect and everyone's treated fairly and you have equity, you know what you have? You have the K because kindergarten is where it's at. Kindergarten is always an excellent class because we use teamwork, we have equity, and we use respect.